Hi everyone, this is Kathy Gerskers with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and I wanted to show you just really briefly a neat little new Chrome extension that I've been trying out and it was actually developed by Hector Garcia and I'm going to put the link to his original video in the comments below so that way you can investigate on your own how you can actually work with this right tool and perhaps if he's still accepting beta testers you can look at the very end of the video and see how you can sign up and do this but from what I've been able to see it's pretty cool I am in the Garcia consulting test file here and as you can see the right tool basically is a little bit more intuitive in design than what we have over here in the left navigation as you can see, we have the plus new button right next to the gear icon. So that way you can actually go in and access both of those without having to scroll too far across. So basically, one of the reasons why Hector developed this tool is to allow us to save keystrokes and mouse clicks and all of that. There's a few other things in here that you may or may not have access to as I am actually using this in the Chrome Incognito browser. So you won't have some of these developer tools in here, but a lot of these different things will be very useful to you, especially at the bottom. And if you're a desktop user, then this will help you get a little bit more of the feel of desktop. As a matter of fact, if you click on favorites, you can actually see the pre-programmed favorites in there but if you wanted to add shortcuts you click on all shortcuts and then they're organized by different groups so you can actually say like if you wanted to add invoices to your list here and sales receipts if you use those a lot then you can add those to that so if we click on favorites you'll see those and they're added at the bottom here but what i really like about this and i discovered this by accident say you wanted to go ahead and reorganize these you can actually drag and drop these so like if i wanted to put the invoicing thing at the top then i can same thing with the sales receipt if i wanted to put it under number two or number three then i can so this is pretty cool and that for me is one of the selling points of this now if you go to the open tabs you can see like if you open any of these tabs as you can see we're in the client page right now but if i click on favorites and go to invoicing in here and like I said, this is a Chrome extension. So what this does is it works on any QuickBooks Online realm that you have. So once we go back, and, and you can see too, what's really cool about this is if I go back to the uh, other tab here where we have the, the client page, you can see that the invoice tab is named invoice. A lot of times when you're working without this right tool feature, then you won't see that. There's a few other things in here. He's got several reports in here. He's got a few uh, bells and whistles in here. That it, Just watch his video. I'll put the link in the, the description and in the comments below. So that way you can have that and view it at your own leisure. And then if you want to try this out and give him some feedback on it, he's allowing access with ads for free at this point. So anyway, I hope this will help you today. And let me go ahead and go back to the main screen here so that way you can see go back to open tab so you can see both of those on here anyway hope this helps you y'all have a wonderful day now take care and we will see you soon thank you for watching i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others my goal is to publish at least one new video per week on quickbooks desktop or online topics the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.